Okay, hey guys, it's um, Expert on Tech. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, I've been occupied with school, I've had a lot of school stuff, but today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 4.2.1 with um, Red Snow. And this will be for the iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad. I'll be showing, it on t showing you on the iPad today. So, as you can see, if I go to settings, about, as you can see, it's running right there, version 4.2.1. And as you can see, multitasking, yeah, and folders. So that's that. Now I'll go onto the computer, and what you want to do is open up whatever web browser you have and download the Apple firmware. Now, you can go to firmware, you just Google firmware, and it's right here, felixbruins.de. You can just download any firmware here. You just go right here and download iPad 4.2.1, download. Now after that, you want to go to Red Snow, you want to get Red Snow. So I just search dev team on Google, and you go there and download it right here I'll have a link in the description but I like the exact where you can get it but it's right here Mac Windows the title of the post is Thanksgiving with Apple so then after that after you have those both downloaded extract red snow they're right here you wanna double tap on red snow it brings up this you wanna browse for IPSW file, click open, it will process it, you click next, then it will do some things to it. And then right here you can pick what you want, just pick install Cydia, and it, then that's all you want for now, click next. Now right here you want to make sure your device is shut off. So you want to power it down. And then right here it'll tell you what to do. You just click next. And it'll tell you to hold it for three seconds, the power on button. And then you push down on the home button and hold both for ten seconds. And then after that, you'll want to let go of the power button and continue holding the home button. And this will put it in DFU mode. Okay, then this will come up. It will say exploiting with Lime Rain and all that stuff. Wait for it to reboot. And then this will come up. And then it will reboot again. And there will be all this text right here, as you can see, there will be all this text. And then it will say done right here, it will tell you that the 4.2.1 jailbreak is tethered, which means if you shut it off, you have to have a Windows or a Mac, and you have to use Red Snow to boot it back up. So it's, as you can see right here it says even if you've just applied it make sure you have, you have to run it again to boot it. So then click finish and what you want to do is open up Red Snow again and find it again and go through this process again. And here it is right here. This will come up Okay, but this will be untethered if you have a iPod Touch 2G non-MC model, a uh, iPhone 3G and iPhone 3GS that has the old boot ROM, so not the new boot ROM. Okay, so to boot it, what you want to do is go to uncheck this and only check just boot tethered right now. Now you want to wait for this to finish right here on your device then it will reboot so 
So right here, you click Just Boot Tether, you click Next. And then it will just tell you the same process to turn it off. So once this boots up, okay. Now it will reboot, and then if I go over, there's Cydia right here. So if I run it, as you can tell, it doesn't run. It just crashes instantly. That's because you need a boot tethered. So once you install a mobile substrate extension, it won't even boot at all. It'll just stay stuck on the Apple logo. So what you want to do is do this again. You'll want to click Next. And just do the same thing over again by holding on the power for 3 and then hold down both for 10 then this will boot it tethered so you'll be able to run Cydia and all the jailbroken apps that you have on here so then as you can see it will just do the same thing again and that's what you'll get. Let's get finish, click finish. Then this is what it'll show on your device. Just a little pineapple. And then after this is done, you'll be jailbroken and you'll be able to run just like it's jailbroken. So and just remember if you are installing like Winterboard or I think SB settings those require reboots so you'll have to install them and then shut it off don't click reboot just shut it off and then run red snow again and then you'll be good and there we go A little noise to tell you it's connected it is if I go to city right here as you can see it launches and just does what Cydia does the, when you very first jailbreak. Do this, it will respring, and then there you have Cydia. So, oh yeah, one more thing. Make sure to read the description because I will have everything in the description. So, if you have questions, look in the description first and then comment because mostly everything will be in the description. I'll have all the links to everything that you'll need in this video. So There we go. And that's how you jailbreak iOS 4.2.1 on the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. So, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be making more videos and make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you guys.